So once again, congratulations on starting the Path of Change program. Um, you are getting to know a 3,000 year old ancient Chinese text, the first ancient Chinese text, maybe as old as 5,000 years. And uh, this is a very contemporary, concise, accessible translation by Mr. Peter Crisp. <clears throat> you can see this is one. It's had a little wear and tear. Tapes and pages back in. Uh, I've had it for almost a decade now. So, as you're moving through this program, there are 64 possible hexagrams. And, of course, before you get into this, you want to read the outro, you want to read the intro, get a little bit of background information, so you know a little bit better what you're getting into. And, of course, I'm here as a resource. You can send me a text or an email anytime, and I'd love to chat about it more. So, day one, looking at hexagram one, creating. This is the beginning. You can see it's all young. Heaven over heaven. And so you'll read what the book says, what the book sees, and what the book suggests, and feel free to play around with how you engage with this throughout your program. There's no solid structure here. Have fun with it. Be curious. See what happens. Maybe you want to read it at the beginning of your day and try to align with what it's saying and on how you move through your day. Maybe you want to read it at the end of the day and see if anything did line up serendipitously, which it will. And maybe you want to read it in the, in the middle of the day. Find as many ways as you can to engage with it. Build your relationship with the book, with the oracle. Have fun with it. It's got a sense of humor, so enjoy it. So, day one, I'll read what the book sees, says what it sees, what it suggests. And then this is the map of your day. How you move through the changes for this situation. And you're going to contrive a little bit here sometimes. Uh, just use it as a frame of reference. I mean, this is the oldest text in China. It's a compilation of wisdom. And, I mean, you can't really go wrong here. You read an astrology reading. You do a tarot reading. You do an I Ching divination reading. It's all information. It's a mirror. It's an opportunity to reflect and learn something and integrate something and see something from a different perspective. Maybe bring something up that you wouldn't normally think about. So... Oversimplified version, there's a lot of yang, there's a lot of action, doing, creating, very forward. So it's go, 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 go. And a little more nuance here as to what those actions might look like. Again, very simplified. We go to another one. Let's say we flip to holding on to greatness, number 26. Different setup here. You got go, 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 stop. Reflect, think, receive, integrate, a little bit more waiting, be patient, and then once you've reflected, go again. That's just very general, very quickly looking at the lines. Yang, 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 yin, yin, yang. So that's how you'll do it. You move all the way through to day 64, hexagram 64, which wouldn't you know it before completing and beginning again. So have fun.